so hi friends in the previous class we observed so the basic jdbc program so this is our yesterday's class so how we can write this the simple jdbc program right so so what are the drawbacks we observed in the last uh, last program, like last class so like we have only one sql statement like we are trying to insert the three values into the the user table right so this is the user table we are trying to insert the three values what are the values here what is the id and the name and the password so these are the three values so for three values so how many statements we wrote here like how many try catch blocks we wrote here like so this is the one try catch block we observed and in the finally so in the finally box again we write the try catch block so here two times we are we are trying to write the the try catch block so so what we are doing is the basic jdbc program like we are trying to adding the boilerplate code so number of times right so to eliminate these kind of boilerplate code the spring jdbc introduced so what is the name the spring jdbc introduced so call the templates so as we discuss uh, like yesterday we have a templates as well as callback methods so now we have a time to discuss the, the template how the templates are going to work right so so as i said yesterday we have a three types of templates so what are the three types of templates so one is jdbc template so one more is name of parameter jdbc template so one more is simple simple jdbc template so these are the main templates are available in spring jdbc concept so we will see one by one how the jdbc template or these templates are going to work so as i said by using the spring jdbc framework so we are uh, like we are like removing the boilerplate code or we can call it as so <clears throat> so he is going to remove the some of the but <clears throat> button call the resource management so what is here resource management so resource management is nothing but so you are writing a connection or prepared statement so these are the resource of the the db like databases so the spring jdbc is going to like remove the some of the resource management and exception handling so we are not writing with this try catch block because totally are unchecked exceptions not checked exception right so this is these are the two steps are is going to remove by the so spring jdbc so once it's going to remove so what kind of operations we are going to do so simply we will write some of the execute statement or so we will write insert into like save method or update method some delete method so directly we are going to perform the operation we are not writing the so this resource management and exception handling related information so the basic first we will see the jdbc template so as i said we have a three types of templates in that we are going to see the jdbc template so the best <clears throat> the basic of this jdbc template so this is the basic jdbc template so the jdbc template is going to provide some <clears throat> like the jdbc template is going to provide index based queries index based queries means so we wrote here these are the index based queries we can call it because so this is the index number and we are trying to add the some of the values so same like so second index we are trying to add the name and third index we are trying to add the password so same like the jdbc templates also is going to work based on the indexes so what is the first index and what value we are trying to assign so same so same thing like this is the example 
So in this case, we are not going to use the prepaid rate fund or connections, not the resources entirely removed in the Spring JDBC. So whereas in the name or parameter, so what is going to do? So because the index is going to remove in the name or parameters. So the in the name or parameters, as we observed, we have some Pojo class. Pojo class means so we we have a one student class. So in the students class, what are the values are available? So like name of the user, uh, like student and address of the student and age of the students. So these three, for example, we have three values. Three values are available. So directly we will use so name column. So what is the name of the student after that age? So what is the age of the student and after that address? So like directly we are going to work on the values like the columns or the properties we can call it as. So these are the three properties are available in the student student class. <coughs> Inside the name or name or parameter JDBC template. So directly the queries is going to interact with the property. So here is going to interact with the indexes. So simple JDBC how is going to work. So the simple JDBC. <coughs> so we have in the Java file we have some advanced concepts available like var arg method. So if you know the var arg method, like so how the var arg is available, like uh, <coughs> var some we have a concept called three dots. So like we are going to provide. It's taking time. So this is the concept is available because so any object is going to pass. We can pass any object. So this the concept is introduced in Java 5 varag method. So the varag method is used in the, the simple JDBC. So first we will see one by one how the JDBC template and name or parameters is going to work. So after that, so we can move to the, the simple JDBC, how it's going to work, right? So I will try to explain the JDBC template. So <clears throat> if we use the JDBC template, so how we can write? So what I'm doing here, I'm like removing the entire code. So this is our DOM build. I'm trying to remove this also. So this is our simple DOIM build class. So this is a, so how the DOIM build is coming from? So from the some of the interfaces. As of now, I did not implement the DO interfaces. So directly, I am writing the implementation class. Right. So. So this is our DOIM PL class. So we are trying to use the, the JDBC template. So if we want to use the JDBC template, so how we can use the private JDBC template. So see, ORG Spring Framework JDBC code. So JDBC template. So now JDBC template. JDBC template. So this is our JDBC template. This is the way we can use. So, so once we use, now what we need to do? We need to set the JDBC template. How we can set the public wide set to so JDBC template and the same. We need to copy these two because it is injected through setter injection. So in the early days we already discussed. So it is a constructed injection or setter injection. We have a two types of injection type. So now I am using setter injection. So 
so this is the jdbc setter uh, injection we added so once we added into the setter injection so so what is the method we are trying to access so we have some time to save public void save student so we have save student method so here what is going to do student student so we have a student class no so i am trying to create a student class so see here i am creating the student class so here the student class available so now away into id of the student and do private sing name right so private sing address so these are the three properties are available in student class so now i am generating construct like setter injection as well as setter injection so so these are the student class properties so now come to the student class like save student method so we are trying to save the student information inside the where we are trying to store so we are trying to store the student information inside the db right so what is the db we are using here so this is the jdbc template and using the jdbc template using the jdbc template so now what we are doing mm, update so update see it's taking the prepared sentiment creator one and the string string sql objects is string sql parameter set so these are is going to take so now i'm simply taking this string update sql so what is a way the sql is defined so now i'm defining here sql like string sql is equals to so how we can define insert into student mm. so id name address right so we have a three column and we have values so what are the values so i'm writing question mark So this is the, our SQL, right? So this is a simple SQL. Now we need to add the three values. We need to add the three values. So how we are going to add the three values? So here we have a concept called new object. So how we can use the new object? Here we can call the So new object here inside the object we need to pass we need to pass so what i am trying to pass here so we need to pass the three values right we need to pass the three values like so how we can use the three values student dot uh, get id comma student dot get name and student dot get address so these are the three values so these the student dot get id is going to append into the first one so student dot get name is going to take second and the same thing the student dot get address is going to open to the third one so this is the so normal spring jdbc 
see so this is the completed our program so this the three steps we are going to do bus so now have you observed so we uh, did we open any connection or the prepare statements or any try catch flag so nothing we did not write so simply so what is our for main focus so then we are focusing on the the particular objects so that's it so internally the string so in jdbc is going to take everything so for example if i open this jdbc so here so update string or update object this is the we provided right so this is the varar concept see so object having three dots this is uh, as i said the spring uh, simple jdbc internally taking the so where are concepts same thing like this is one only so now now so <coughs> this update method is going to call so internally is going to call the this update method so where this update is available so this is the simple object so here if you observe try and look, finally we are seeing and it's showing the same again the simple jdbc sql exception so this the logic is entirely defined in the the spring uh, jdbc template so for these we are not writing any logic so if you observe so prepared statement what is contained this psc so it's contain our sql file right and these are the objects parameters we are passing like the simple prepared statement we have already provided code one index to specify to the id and the second index specified to the name so same thing so here the values are going to store in the prepared statement sector it is a creator for sql query so now if you observe what is going to do here is going to execute so psc is the sql and to prepare statement callback so i already explained so jdbc template is so one part and jdbc callback is the another part so here we are using the callback so the callback is going to perform some operations call so like execute the statement and return the output based upon the the statement right so this is known as a <coughs> callback is going to operate so here do in prepare statement the same thing so see psas are setting the values prepare statement what are the values we passed so the values are going to store in the psas what is psas psas is nothing but prepare statement set so here it's updating execute update number of rows right return rows how many rows is updated is going to return so and finally inside the finally we are doing some cleanup operations cleanup parameters so this is totally taken care of the spring <coughs> jdbc template so we are not writing so this entire logic at all this totally move into the specific method so if you observe the callback so where exactly it's calling where exactly it's calling so from this methods to this update is calling to internally this update right again if you see so this is the main update method this is the main method we are trying to call we are trying to call so see data access exception is going to throw this is the main like super class for all the jdbc exception class so this is the data access exception. this already we covered so uh, the last class so this is the super class for the all the string related jdbc exception so that's the reason we added the data exception and come to the so these <coughs> update method so here it's calling right so this is very exactly it's calling if you like press f3 we can observe where exactly it's calling and internally is creating an object called simple prepared statement creator 
by passing the SQL and the PS is already passing as a same thing here. So now if we expand this internal update method, it's calling here because so it's going to create a create uh, the one object by passing the SQL query. So the PS is containing our particular SQL. So that is going to execute it's executing. So this is nothing but anonymous concept we are writing here. So this is known as a anonymous in our class we can call it as because here we are using prepared statement callback. So so this is the our in X internally flow of execution of update method. Now come to the DAO IMPL. So mainly we are focusing on so this is the, our business logic we can call it as this is our business logic. So we are trying to insert the student object into the particular database. So now so we need to configure something. So what we need to configure. So go to this thing context file. So, so this this data source is mainly focused every time is available data source. So without the data source, we cannot connect with the DB. So it's it's available as usual. And here what we are doing. Here what we are doing here. So from DOIM <coughs> DOIMPL class is contain the JDBC template because so inside the DOIMPL only we made the we are we have a property JDBC template. So we need to write JDBC template. So once we define the JDBC template, is what is the ref? Ref is nothing but is pointing to the particular another bean. So where the bean is defined. As of now, we did not define any bean. So now I am writing bean ID is equals to JDBC template and class. So what is the class? As I say. So here, so this is a fully class. So we need to copy this class. So because, so where exactly the JDBC template is available, we need to copy. So JDBC code, JDBC template. So now it's having the JDBC having internally called data source. Property name is equals to data source and ref we need to pass because already we define the data source where the data source is available so that like we need to define data source so just close so now what is going to do mm, description schema text Yes, we see what is showing here. Something called we miss anything. B close. B close here. P R O P activate property is correct. So see, we write P as a capital. So P as a capital again. Here also P as a capital. See, so because of the one capital letter, it's getting an error. So as I said earlier, also I am I Java is a case institute we need to use so wherever we they define the smaller case wherever they define the capital letters so we need to use as it is if you're trying to change anything so java is going to throw exceptions so so what is the flow is is what is the flow of execution so once the cancer is once the string contains is identify the duimpl class so what is going to do 
the DMO AMP class is contain any setter injection or cutter, the constructor injection. So then is going to identify the property or constructor of. So so it's having the one setter injection. So that what we need to do, we need to define the setter injection, and we need to place the so where exactly the JDBC template is available. So reference is the reference. So and again the container is identify the JDBC template. So JDBC template is also internally checking with the data source. The data source available or not is going to check. So if it is available, then we need to see the where exactly the data source is available. So now, now this is totally completed. So go to the Spring JDBC, the jar file. So it's having the data source or not, we can identify. So see, data source is already defined in Spring JDBC. So that's the reason we need to add a setter injection. So because it's already imported, right? Data source. So if you control K, so if you control K data source. See here it's having the constructor injection. It's having the constructed injection data source, data source. Set data source, data source after property set. So so internally the JDBC template already defined data source. If you are using the Spring JDBC template, so we don't need to use data source because internally it's using the data source. So this is the internal arc, like it's in the internal work of the Spring JDBC template. Now it's completed our so Spring JDBC. This is the way we can use. And if you want to insert this some data, this is one more method we have. JDBC template. JDBC template dot <clears throat> something is we are getting an error so otherwise we can use it. So this is a class name. We cannot use the class name. We need to use the reference. <clears throat> now, so public wide. Delete student. JDBC template dot delete. Mm, we don't have a delete method. So now, how we can delete the some data? So get go to the JDBC template and do control F. So we have the delete method. The entire JDBC template we don't have a JDBC uh, delete method. So load. So we have a load method, I think. Let's see where exactly it's available. Find only one load. Uh,
So we have we have inserted the some data. Now we need to get the data. So for delete operations, so we will like pass <clears throat> sometimes. So because so I think we, once we get the data, there we can delete the sum of objects. So directly we don't have a method to delete the data using the JDBC template. Now, so how we can get the data? So we have so load student object load student. So dot so we have query. So here we have query. We need to pass some of the object so that how it's going to see. So now I am doing here query. I am passing here PHC. So here, what is the query we need to pass? String SQL is equals to select uh, ID, comma name, comma address, address from what is the table name here? Some student, some student, right? So this is the our SQL query. And if you have a condition, we can pass the condition. But then we don't have a condition directly. We are passing entire SQL. So now, now I'm passing here SQL, right? I'm passing SQL here. Again. So, so how the object is going to come in? Because so the objects are coming as a row mapper or the result set. So because so from the DB the objects are returning as a result set object. So we need to convert into the or particular particular object. So how we can convert it into the particular object? So these. So we need to write as a new object. So we need to write a new option. What is showing here? Okay. So comma new row map of So inside the row mapper, oblique, oblique wide map row. Map row method is available in row mapper class row mapper is an interface directly we are using implementation of row mapper now the row mapper is going to take so here we need to pass result set result we have a result set and so we have one more parameter we need to add to the map row method. So what is the parameter we need to add? So into row number. So these are the two parameters that is going to add to the map row method. So inside the row mapper. So let me import result set. One second. So we already provided row mapper. Misplaced constructor. Okay. Mm. Let me remove 
So from basic, and we will combine again public wide load to the student. And here I'm writing load student. So based on the ID, we can store, like we can load. So here we have a student class. What is doing? Okay. So uh, load is still we can call it because it's showing load scale. Okay. So now we need to write JDBC template dot so simply uh, PSC rollback or row callback under result syntax factor and do string SQL draw mapper draw mapper. Mm, I think this is the method we can use. This we need to use. So load SQL. So what are the arguments? For arguments, we need to use new object. New object. So here, so we can pass. What is object? Object is like we need to define here condition where, where student dot id is equals to question mark. Question mark nothing but dynamically we are going to pass the object. So the condition we need to define inside the object parameter, right? So long ID, long ID. So how we need to pass, directly we can pass ID here. So now result set X factor. So now we need to use row mapper, right? So because, so as I said, objects are coming as a result set we need to convert it into the particular object. So we need to convert into the object. How we can convert? Row mapper. So this is not nothing but. So this is the row mapper. So now what's showing here? Uh, cannot instantaneous type row mapper. You row mapper cut only right for JDBC um, row mapper only. Let me try one more time. I think this one. Mapper IMS class. So now what is showing? Add an unimplement method. So now the unimplement method is added. So if you are doing anything mistake, so entirely is gone because one, if you are working on anonymous classes, it's nothing but anonymous classes we are going to call. So it's very carefully we need to handle these kind of situations because so row mapper is an interface. Row mapper is an interface, so directly we are calling the implementation method because interface contain only declared method, not initialized method. So what is going to do? So this object is internally implemented and available for us. So this is known as a anonymous class we are going to call. Right. So now result set extractor is coming and do into row number. Now what we need to do here? So we need to add some separate one. Okay, so now it's completed. <clears throat> here, here what we need to do? 
we need to create an object call our student so because we are we are doing here we are trying to convert our object into the student class so for this we need to create an student class object so once we create an student class object so we need to add student dot set address or set id so here rs dot get int get int so so we can specify the column number because how we are trying to load id is a index one you can specify the one so like so now student has to use student dot set name set name and here rs dot get string so what is the column index uh, second now student dot so set address and rs dot get string so here we can specify the column index as a string so now once we set the student to return the student student so this is the this is the like we can get the object to from the db so objects are getting as a result set so we need to convert it into the our particular object so this is the way we can convert an object and you return the object so now now so how the objects are going to come so here objects are coming as a student have we observed so this is the way we can call it so get the object so tomorrow we will see so name mode parameters so how we can use the name mode parameter and so we will connect with the db to run this kind of example and we need to install some oracular mysql and we need to write some db configuration issues and we will see tomorrow how it's going to work right so don't miss please practice writing this example in our excel eclipse so tomorrow we will see like how we can get it the object from the db